Today at Kohl's, I'm going to be trying on dresses. I'm always excited to try on dresses, so that is what I'm gonna do today. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say, hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you are here. I make dressing room try-ons and try-on hauls, so I hope you'll check out some of my other videos as well. But for now, let's head into Kohl's and try on some dresses. They're doing construction in my Kohl's store, so things were a little more all over the place than normal, but they had a ton of dresses. So I grabbed a bunch and headed to the dressing room. First up, I found this fiery shirt dress from Nine West. It has buttons running the whole way down, and it has this tie coming from the top half. It is sleeveless, and it has a collar. I tried this on in a size small, and it retails for $50. I am sometimes a size small and sometimes a medium, so I was just guessing with sizes today based on what they had in stock and how things look on the hanger. This size small was a little too small on me. It just felt a little tight everywhere. I love this tie detail in the front and how it drapes from the top of this dress. This is definitely a dress you want to get in the correct size to ensure that the buttons are not going to be pulling. I don't hate this pattern, but I don't love it either. But this dress also comes in black and in light blue. Next, I found this striped maxi dress from Nine West. The stripes are white, tan, brown, and pink. It has a double elastic waistband and a halter neckline, and it's a ruffle around the neckline. I tried this on in a size small, and it retails for $60. For reference on the length of all of these, I'm 5'8", so a little on the taller side. And I thought the length of this dress was wonderful. It does have a white lining underneath, which is great. The double elastic is nice. It helps give a lot of shape. And I think this halter neckline is really pretty. I like the colors in this stripe a lot. And this dress also comes in solid black. Next, I grabbed this reddish orange dress from Nine West. It has a curved tier towards the hem, and then the seam under the bust is curved as well. It is sleeveless with a simple rounded neckline and keyhole and button in the back. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $60. The cut of this dress is definitely giving me maternity dress vibes. I think it's the curved seam under the bust that's doing it for me. I do have a bit of a tummy, which is very normal, and I just feel like this accentuates that. But I'd also say if you're looking for clothes to wear while pregnant, there's not actually a lot of extra room in the tummy in this dress. This dress is midi length and I do like the curved tier towards the hem. I don't love this orange color for me personally. And this dress also comes in white, in black, in this mustardy green, and in this warm tone tropical print. Next up is this blue bodycon dress from Nine West. It is ruched on the sides and it is sleeveless. It has a mock neck and I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $50. I would say this dress definitely runs small because this size medium was pulling in a bunch of places. It is fully lined, but I could still see my underwear lines, but that would potentially be different if I was wearing a size large. The sleeves are like slightly longer than sleeveless in the shoulders, and I really like this blue color, and this dress also comes in black. Next, I found this olive green floral dress from Nine West. It is maxi length, and the skirt has a couple of tiers in it. The floral is black, light pink, and white and yellow. It is sleeveless with spaghetti straps and they are adjustable in the back. The bodice is smocked in the back as well. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $68. This dress was nice and long, very happy with the length. The tiers in the skirt are nice and it has a really nice flowiness to it. It's pretty fitted through the bust and I think I would go up to a size medium because it was pretty tight on me there. It did have this weird loose fabric right under the bust though. I do really like these colors and this pattern and this dress also comes in brown and in this black and white floral. Next, I found this pink sheath dress from Nine West. It is a short fitted dress that is sleeveless on one side and then the other side has a short ruffle sleeve. It has a rounded neckline and a zipper in the back. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $60. I can't remember if they even had a size medium, but if they did, I definitely should have gone with that instead of a size small. 
This was pretty difficult for me to get on. I like the asymmetricalness of the one short ruffle sleeve. It is fully lined and it hit well above the knee. I like this pink color and this dress also comes in white. Next, I grabbed this patterned maxi dress from Nine West. It's white, black, yellow, tan, and mauve. The skirt has one tier towards the hem and it has a double elastic waist. It has stretchy straps with a short ruffle on them. It has a V neckline with this little tie. And I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $50. This dress fit very well and the length was pretty good for a maxi dress. I like the tier towards the hem and the skirt is lined down to around the knee. I like how the top is more fitted and the ruffle sleeves are really pretty. The neckline is flattering as well. I feel pretty so-so about this pattern and this dress also comes in this blue floral. Next, I found this burgundy maxi dress from the brand Lily Rose. It's showing up more pink on camera, but it's more red in reality. It has a tear at the hem and the fabric has some texture to it with these little dots. It has this strip of lace under the bust and the bust has built-in cups. It has thin straps that are adjustable. It's also smocked in the back of the bust. I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $48. I thought this dress was pretty. The length of it was great and it is not lined though. I think the lace is nice and I love the textured dots on the fabric. I also really love that it has built-in cups. I did leave my bra on, but it could easily be worn without a bra. I think I would just need to go down to a size small for that. I think this dark red is nice and it also comes in black, in blue, and in this black floral. Next I found this coral dress from a brand that I can't remember the name. I looked at the brand tag but I didn't film it and now I can't remember it and I can't find it online either. The fabric has little dots on it and it has a thick cinched waist. It has elastic straps with ruffles on them. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $54. This dress fit pretty well. The fabric is very silky feeling and you can see it's lined underneath partially. I really love the dottiness of this fabric and I don't know if it's meant to be this way, but I think you could also wear it off the shoulder. It has elastic above the bust, so I definitely wouldn't be worried about it falling down. And before we get into the next dress, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Next, I grabbed this light blue wrap dress from the brand Lauren Conrad. It has this ruffle at the hem, and it is a true wrap dress with this button on the side. The neckline does have a hook and eye closure. The short sleeves have elastic and a bow towards the hem. There are pleats at the shoulder of the sleeves, and I couldn't find a tag on this particular one, but I tried it on in a size small, and according to online, it retails for $54. I think this dress is really cute. I love the ruffle at the hem and how it wraps around. The length was pretty good, and I've never seen a wrap dress like this with a button, only ones with ties, and I really like how it looks. The one downside, though, to having a button is that you're not able to tie it tighter or looser. I think the sleeves are really cute with that bow on there, and I like this light blue. This dress also comes in white, in light peach, in this blue with some texture, and in this white floral. Next I found this pink floral off the shoulder dress from Lauren Conrad. It is midi length and it has a tie at the waist. It has an elastic neckline and a ruffle. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $60. I wasn't sure if this was meant to be off the shoulder or not, so I started off with it not, which I honestly think it looks okay like this. This skirt has a lot of fabric to it, so it's nice and flowy and it's lined to the knee. The tie waist is cute, although I sometimes get frustrated by the difficulty of keeping ties like this looking straight and not getting bunched up. And here's how it looks off the shoulder as well, very cute. Next, I found this red and white floral dress from Lauren Conrad. It has a double layer ruffle at the hem and it's more fitted in the bust area with this tie at the neckline. It has short puff sleeves. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $54. This dress fit pretty well. I definitely wouldn't want it to be any shorter. The V neckline is cut low and I like the tie at the neckline. The sleeves are pretty simple, and I do really like the double ruffle at the hem. I just wish that it were a little bit longer. Next, I found this dress that my camera was making look blue, but it is actually green. There we go, that's the actual color. 
It is chiffon with this floral texture on it. It has a thick elastic waistband and a crossover V neckline. It's sleeveless with these big ties on the shoulders. This is from the brand Speechless and I tried it on in a size small and it retails for $58. I really like some parts of this dress, but it was definitely too short for me. So I do wish that it was longer. I like the thick waistband and I really like the bows on the shoulders. And my favorite thing about this dress is the floral texture in the fabric. It was beautiful. This skirt is lined as well and the quality was really good. I also really like this light green color and this dress also comes in black. Well, that was round one. I did go out and grab more dresses. So next up is this purple floral dress from the brand Sonoma Goods for Life. It has a tear towards the hem and the fabric is a linen blend. It is sleeveless with a split V neckline with a tie. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $36. This dress is pretty simple, but the pattern definitely makes it more interesting. The size small fit everywhere pretty well, except for under the arms. I feel like the armholes were a little tight on me. The ruffle towards the hem makes it a little flowy, and I thought the length was pretty good. It's definitely a relaxed fit in general. It's loose through the torso. I like this purple color, but I'm not in love with this pattern specifically. And this dress also comes in black in this black and white floral, in this blue floral, and in this yellow with white flowers. Next, I grabbed this green and white striped dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has a ruffle towards the hem. It's green with little white stripes on it. It's sleeveless with a scoop neckline, and I tried this on in a size small, and it retails for $30. The shape of this one is actually pretty similar to the previous purple floral one. The thing with this ruffle towards the hem is that it's right in the middle of my butt, which could be annoying when you sit down in it because the seam is like right there. I also had extra space under my arms, which is a pet peeve of mine. I do like the green and white stripe, and this dress also comes in this tan and white stripe, in red and in black. Next, I grabbed this rusty orange shirt dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has little side slits at the hem and it is a linen material. It has a tie at the waist. It has short cuffed sleeves, two chest pockets, and a few buttons with a collar. I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $44. I think this is a great casual dress. I really like the above the knee length and the little side slits are nice. The tie at the waist definitely adds some shape, which is great, and the quality felt nice. This orange color does feel a little more fall to me, but it also comes in black, in blue, in beige, and in this green with flowers. Next, I found this coral eyelet dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has multiple tiers and buttons all the way down. It is sleeveless with a V neckline, and I tried this on in a size small, and it retails for $44. I think this dress is really cute. The length was great, and I like the tiers and the buttons all the way down. The eyelet fabric is really pretty, and it fit well. It is lined underneath as well, which is great. I think this color is perfect for summer, and this dress also comes in black, in white, and in blue. Speaking of blue, next I found this blue midi dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has two tiers towards the hem with stripes in the blue on them. It's kind of a gauzy fabric. It has short sleeves and a square neckline. It's square in the back as well. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. This dress was not it for me. It was giving me nightgown vibes. I do like the bottom with the ruffles and the stripes. I just really don't like the top of it. It was cutting into my underarms a bit and I wish that the square neckline was a little bit bigger. I think maybe that would make it better. This dress also doesn't have much shape to it. It's very relaxed. It does have pockets though. The dresses today were definitely slacking on the pockets up to this point. Next, I found this pattern dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It's olive green, white, and orange. It is sleeveless and it has some pleating at the top. It has a split V neckline and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $30. This dress hit above the knee and the length is great for my height. This dress has pockets, which is wonderful. The size small fit a little tight under the arms, but other than that, I really like this one. It is a linen fabric and I love the colors and this pattern. 
This dress also comes in this green and white stripe, in black, in this blue floral, in this brown floral, in this tan floral, in this purple stripe, in chambray, in maroon, and in this multicolored stripe. Next, I found this white midi dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has a couple of tiers in the skirt and it has buttons all the way down. The fabric has these textured dots on it. It has short sleeves and a V neckline. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. I love this dress. I think it's the perfect just throw it on dress. It's midi length on me and it is not lined. It does have pockets and I really like the texture in the fabric. The skirt is nice and flowy and I love that it's more fitted on the top and loose on the bottom. I don't hate the white, but it probably wouldn't be my first choice. This dress also comes in a blue floral, in this black and white floral, in chambray, which is really cute, in olive green, which would definitely be my first choice and in this red floral. Next up is this light blue dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. The fabric is very crinkly and the skirt has a couple of tiers in it. It is sleeveless with this small ruffle at the shoulders, I guess. It has a scoop neckline and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. This dress is pretty simple and I thought this crinkly fabric was interesting. It kind of just gave it a super wrinkled look in my opinion. This dress does have pockets and I think the ruffles at the armholes is cute. Although the armholes were again a little tight on me. The length was above my knee and I was happy with the length of it for my height. This color is slightly purplish blue and it also comes in red, in black, and in green. Next I found this orange maxi dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has a couple of tiers towards the hem and it has these loop buttons running down the front. It has this thick smocked waistband and the fabric has a dotted texture to it. It has short double ruffle sleeves and a v-neckline with a tie. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $52. I was really confused by this dress. It was way too big. It fit probably like a large, maybe an extra large. Besides the fit issues though, I thought this was a really nice dress. The buttons only go down to where the tiers start towards the bottom. So it kind of has a slit in the middle of the front. The length hit a few inches above my ankles. As you can probably guess, I really like this textured fabric and I actually like this orange color. Because of the sizing issue, I was expecting this dress to have poor reviews online, but it doesn't. It actually had really good reviews and a lot of them said it fit true to size. So I kind of think that the one I tried on was a fluke and it got tagged incorrectly because it was definitely not the size small or it didn't fit that way at least. And this dress also comes in this yellow floral in white, in black, and in this blue floral. Next, I grabbed this light green maxi dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has this stripe of this textured and holy fabric in the skirt. It has a tie waist, and then the top has some of that same textured fabric. It has short sleeves and a split V neckline. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $52. I think this dress is really pretty. I love the mix of fabrics going on in the dress and the length of it was more like a midi length on me than a maxi length. This fabric was very soft and I love that tie in the waist. It adds some shape and I think the top of it is really pretty. I also love this light green color. It also comes in white and this blue pattern and in this red floral. Next, I found this light blue patterned dress from the brand Croft & Barrow. It is midi length and it's blue with these white flowers on it. The bodice is fully smocked. It's sleeveless and it has a scoop neckline. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $40. This dress is very simple and I think $40 is a little pricey for the quality, but Kohl's is always running sales and that kind of applies to everything I've tried on so far today. I know they can seem pricey, but everything is on sale often. This dress does have pockets and I really like how fitted the smocking makes it on the top. The skirt is not lined and the fabric is definitely on the thin side, but I do like this light blue color. I'm just a little worried outside it would be very see-through. This dress also comes in this black and white floral, in this blue print, in black, in red, 
in this red, white, and blue floral, in this orange pattern, in this green pattern, in solid magenta, in this yellow floral, in green, in this white and yellow floral, so pretty, in this red floral, in this navy floral, and in this palm print. Next, I found this other light blue dress from Croft and Barrow. It is midi length and it's a soft and stretchy fabric. It's sleeveless and it has a scoop neckline. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $40. This again is a really simple dress, but I think it's cute. It does have pockets, which is wonderful. It fit pretty well. I did have a little bit of extra space under the arms, but other than that, I would say it fit great. This is such an easy dress to wear in the summer and there are a lot of ways to style it as well. It was out of stock in this light blue color online, but it does come in some other colors. And I also noticed that it was on clearance at the time of filming for only $14, which I think is a much better price than $40. Well, those are all the dresses that I tried on at Kohl's today. I think Kohl's is a great place to get dresses for spring and summer. They had so many in there. They probably had over double what I tried on today and I tried on a lot. If you want to check out any of the dresses that I tried on today, I'll be sure to link them all down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!